Hey guys, TechMate Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, if you have an S24 Ultra and you're looking for a wallet case, well, you've come to the right place. That actually rhymed. Anyway, we're going to have timestamps in this video, so keep in mind it'll be easy for you to move around, but we've got cases from Spigen, BRS Design, Shielden, and Samsung. And some of these cases are military grade, and some of them even have kickstands. Again, keep in mind we'll have timestamps in the description, but why don't we go ahead and get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So, if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. I have another video coming out in a few days. This is the image of the video. 16 S24 Ultra cases. I'll place a link in the video description when it launches, but hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on your notifications and check out this video also. All right, here are our timestamps for this video, and we'll also have them in the video description. All right, be aware some of the cases we're about to show you will have a military grade certification. And if you look at the bottom, highlighted in yellow, that's what it's all about, right? These cases are dropped onto concrete 26 times from a height of 48 inches on every corner and edge. So you might want that type of case. We'll make sure to describe that in this video. Our next case is made by Spigen. It's a Slim Armor CS military grade and it has a wallet. Now here is their website, just so you'll know, and the features is where they list military grade certified drop protection with air cushion technology there on the bottom right. But let's check out the price and everything. So as of February, 2024, this is $44.99. It's made of a thermoplastic polycarbonate and polyurethane. The color we're going to show you today is called the Abyss Green, and it does come in one color. Spigen offers a two-year limited warranty. Again, this is military grade. We showed you the image. The rugged statement says it has raised edges plus air cushion technology. Special features, the wallet holds two cards. All right, so why don't we go ahead and check this out? All right. So here's the case. One of my favorite colors is green. You probably noticed that, but uh, I'll show you the additional color a little bit later. But let's get a little more light on this. So you could see here, it's really a nice design. I mean, again, if you want a wallet, as you could see, it is a little, you know, it sticks out a little bit. That's just the way the design is. But you could see here that their design, got the logo, all right, the wallet just slides right open. So it's not a big wallet, but it, I guess some people want something. So that kind of clicks in place. All right. On the inside, uh, they say they have that air cushion. So it kind of looks like that. Yeah, in the corners, they do have just these uh, air cushions in the corners. Really small, not too easy to see. All right, but they do have them. You can see there, it does help when you when it does fall. So let's take a moment and throw this in. Again, I always throw this in, and I'm going to turn it on as well. But I'm going to throw this in here in the corner. And is it hard to put on is one of the questions. And uh, no, no, not, not at all, actually. All right, and while the phone's turning on, let's take a look. You do get some camera protection. So that's nice, just a, a slightly raised um, around the lenses you'll see here. So you do get a little bit of camera protection. Uh, that's the phone turning on. But there's your design if you look at it. You get to check that out. 
All right. And uh, let's start off, I guess, again, in the top. We'll look at the microphones to see that they are not being blocked. No, looks pretty good. Look at the bottom. Microphone is there. A good opening for a charging cable. There's your speaker. It's not being blocked. The S Pen. All right, let's push in. Comes out nice and easy. It's got that indent. So that works well. And again, you can see here they've got you an indent and a little reinforced corner. Now look at the wallet while it's um, open. And again, they say you could fit two cards, so you're not going to fit a lot in the wallet. But it does kind of lock in place, so it won't open easy. So it will take a little pull to open up the wallet. You hear that. The right side of the phone, you can see you've got your power button, your volume rocker here, that two-tone with the color on the left side. Simple, plain. Again, just a, another look at the camera protection for a moment. So you do have a little bit, which is nice. And uh, let's uh, just play around with this for a minute. So power button feels really nice. That's good. Volume rocker, real easy, no delay, nice tactile feel. Well, that's pretty good. Now, does wireless charging work with this? I guess we'll find out. I don't think it does, but we will find out. Interesting, because I think they mentioned, you know, I guess it depends on the wireless charger because that is red and it picked up right away. So that does work. Now, does it work with if you have a MagSafe? Now, it's not MagSafe compatible, but if you had a MagSafe, I should say, will it work? Well, it's working with this one. Again, it's not sticking, right? There's no magnet. Now, if you had cards in here, it probably wouldn't work, but that's interesting. It actually uh, is working with no delay with both of my chargers, so that's good news. Again, they do say to my knowledge that it doesn't work. Now, is this wireless power share? I just don't know about that, but I'm going to try it. So let me bring that up, and I'll be right back. All right, wireless power share is on. I'm going to turn this over, take the device, and this shouldn't work. It's just because of that space, you know. Nope. No wireless power share compatibility. And is it hard to take off? So I'm, I'm, I start on the bottom, you know, because the camera's on the top. So if I start on the bottom and take this off, works out pretty nice. Decent case, nice look, nice style. All right, there you go. Here are the colors. You saw the abyss green, that's nice. They also make this in a black. We'll put links in the description. And don't forget, if you use our links, you help our channel at no additional cost to you. If you want leather, this is a Shielden leather folio with RFID blocking and a kickstand. Comes in a ton of colors, by the way. Um, this is $30.99 as of February 2024. The material is an oil wax cowhide leather. The color shown is a brown retro because it's got a white stitch. It comes in nine more colors. Now this thing says it's got a lifetime replacement warranty. The screenshot's coming up to show you that. Um, it's not military grade, but you do have front and back protection. You've got a kickstand. We'll try that. Special features, lifetime replacement warranty, RFID blocking, and the wallet um, actually holds four cards and one, you know, just a little bit of cash.
Now let's take a look at the warranty. So on Amazon, on the bottom, and I zoomed in for you, you see that Lim lifetime replacement warranty. Interesting. All right. So I just wanted to show you that. Next thing I want to show you is RFID blocking. So it says this is advanced RFID blocking. And let's check this thing out. All right. There it goes. It's a nice color leather. Again, they call it retro because it's got a white stitch. But let's take a look at this here. Again, it really looks nice. It feels nice. All right. It is magnetic as well here to keep it closed. This is the back. It does have some branding. Again, just a real nice close look. All right. Now, the wallet that's in there, you got cash here. You can fit four credit cards. And again, they do say it's RFID blocking, so that should help. All right, and this is rubber, right? So uh, let's go ahead and put the phone inside. I want to try the kickstand because, you know, it, it's interesting when they, they promote this as having a kickstand. All right, interesting. It doesn't... All right, got to push, got to push to get this in. But... Um, before I go out of here, you do have a little lip if you do drop it open. Not a lot on the sides. All right, so a little bit, not a lot. Now the kickstand, they say the way it works is this way. So you leave it open and it's got like a, see this little indent here, right? So oh, you you know you're gonna have to kind of get this leather used to being adjusted in that way, or you can kind of watch this. So let me show you. So that's the kickstand, guys. Nothing amazing, but as you stretch the leather, it'll it'll do its job. Okay. Again, RFID blocking, which is nice. This is all soft inside. Uh, feel the nature. Interesting. Um, when you close it, these two kind of grab on. So here's a look from the back. Top. So you, you are being protected there. And look at that. Your microphones are spot on. The bottom. So you've got speakers. Good. Your USB Type-C port's good. Your microphone is good. And um, S Pen. Not bad. Works, it works. Goes in, goes out. You use a nail, pop it out. So that works pretty well. Nice, nice color, I'll tell you. huh? And now, since it is in the case, let's hit the power button. So that works well. So they are, that's a good, good protection there. Let's, um, volume. No issues, really nice. Really nice. You got to see the colors when I show you the colors on this thing. Um, wireless charging. Let's just put this down open so you can see. No issue. Again, MagSafe, it's not MagSafe. It isn't, but if you had one, it would work. Now, power share should work through leather, so let's find out. Maybe power share doesn't work through leather. tell you that's weird I would think it would work through leather I always have to double check myself that I've actually got it on you know it is on so just double checking guys
Nothing. All right. No power share uh, with leather, or at least this leather. You know, I, I think that's maybe the RFID blocker. I don't know. But is it, uh, let's turn this off. And is it easy to take out? Um, it should be. You know, I would just start with the bottom corner because the camera corners isn't really a good spot to try. But, you know, one, two, peel it out. And, um, wow, not bad, not bad. All right, I've got two pages of colors. Black, brown retro, retro you just saw. Then there's a brown that looks like a mustard. Then you got coffee retro. Again, retro means it has those white stitches. Then you've got dark blue retro. Next screen here, we've got midnight green. We've got navy blue. We've got purple, royal blue, and wine red. And don't forget, we'll have the links in the description. If you use our links, you help our channel at no additional cost to you. Case is by VRS Design. It's called the Damda Glide Ultimate. Damda, interesting. Kickstand, camera cover, and a wallet. Let's check this out. So February 2024, this is $34.99. Material is polycarbonate, thermoplastic, and polyurethane. The color we're going to show you today is khaki, and there's one more color, by the way. Now, warranty, we couldn't find warranty. So I'll tell you now, some manufacturers are not giving you a warranty. Now, if you buy from Amazon, you know, you do have a certain period of time you know, maybe 30 days, I believe, if you're a Prime member or something like that. But just be aware. You know, if I can't find a warranty, just be aware. As you can see, the tests we're going to be doing and stuff, um, it's not military grade. The rugged statement says completely sealed camera and screen protection. It does have a uh, built-in kickstand, which is actually the screen cover. Special features. The wallet holds up to four cards. It includes a rugged strap, and it says solid camera protection. Here are some pictures on the strap that they give you. You know, what you would use it for is up to you, but it uh, looks pretty cool. All right, so here is the case, and here is the strap. So the strap actually gets connected to the bottom here. And your phone goes in here. We'll put that on in a minute. But uh, yeah, it's just kind of, and then you can kind of hang it somewhere. And they give you this durable strap, right? VRS design. But that is where it goes. All right. I'm going to take that off real quick. And then we'll take a close look at the case. All right. Let's take a nice look at this case for a minute. So... Here's your camera protector. You've got some metal here and plastic here. Let's open that up. So I got one setting there, another here, and then it goes all the way back. So if we look at that without the phone inside for a minute. So if I use this as a kickstand, I've got one angle. one two angles that's leaning all the way back so we'll see what that looks like with the phone inside i gotta tell you too i'm not feeling the strength of this and it's not centered so i don't know how well it's going to do with the phone inside but we'll find out but let's continue to take a nice look so you've got ultimate in here but nice close look VRS design logo, wallet. Now, looking at the wallet's mechanism from the inside, you could see how they do that. Will it last long? I guess you'll find out. Looking at it from the inside, you've got uh, some air pockets, so that's going to be helpful. I'm wondering if this is going to be easy or hard to put on. You could see it from all angles. 
All right, so again, we're going to take a good look at this, but uh, here is the left side of the phone. It's interesting. It almost looks like it has an angle to it, right? It doesn't look straight. It looks angled, All right? And then here's the right side. And again, interesting. Until the phone's in, we'll see if that... You see that, though? It looks like it's like, whoop, the top and the bottom. All right, let's put the phone in. Let's do that. Zoom out a little bit more. Okay, take the phone. I'm going to start with the camera angle in the upper right-hand corner. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start there and push in from the bottom. Not too bad. Not too bad. It went in nice and easy. Not too easy, though. And I already like that it's got a lip that's grabbing the phone. That is important. Let's take a look and see if this straightened out. Yeah, it did. With the phone in, it actually got a lot straighter. So left side of the phone. Right side of the phone. Yeah, here is where it still looks a little... See how it looks, you know, like it's curvy? I guess that's just the shape of the phone. But, yeah, interesting. Bottom. When we look at the bottom... We'll see the microphone is exposed, so that's good. And you've got your USB, I'm trying to get as much light in here. You, um, your USB type C looks really open for, if you have a cable that's a little thicker to charge it, if you're not using wireless charging. Your speaker does look like it's almost at the edge of the case. There it goes. So the speaker's good. S Pen Access, interesting, let's see. All right, I'm pushing in with my nail. So that, that, I'll tell you something, the S Pen is deep in here. If you have big fingers, that might be a problem. But pushing it in. So S Pen is definitely real tight in here. Again, good protection if it drops. Interesting design here on the bottom. But push in with your fingertip, pop out. All right, so... I'm using part of the nail. Let's take a look at the lip protection now. And this has a little bit. I like that the corners are lifted a little bit. That's going to help. See how each corner is lifted a little bit. You've got lip protection going all the way around, especially more on the bottom. And the top, not bad. So that's pretty good. Microphones on the top, good. Good access to the microphones on top, no issues whatsoever. So um, let's try the uh, power button. Nice. Ooh, really tactile feel also. We swipe up and uh, volume. No issues, really smooth. No struggle, nice and smooth. So I like that. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the kickstand with the phone inside now. How about that? So let's open it up to the first setting. I feel like, you know, before it, it goes and um, it's working. It's actually working. It's not bad. Decent angle. Let's go down to the, I think there's only one more. There's, it feels like there's two more, but there's really one more. That's not bad. This is actually stable. And I think, you know what? This piece here plays a part because that's stable. This is not rocking. But if I lift it to this second section here, again, that's still not bad. Yeah, it kind of goes down. It'll fall down. This is not going to last long in the sense that it won't hold that initial position, I think. You know, you see how I just slightly touched it and it went down. But looking at the, you know, this again, I like it. It's cool. Opens all the way. All right. Here's your camera access. I like that it actually protects the camera. Look at the camera, how deep it is in there. So, I mean, obviously, if you drop it with this open... I don't know if that's going to last, but your camera protection is really nice with this case. I like that it, it, it's in there, which is important. But again, if you close that, 
you can see it from different angles. All right, let's go ahead and test wireless charging and see if that works. Let me see if I have to move this up a little bit. All right, let's move it down. All right, I know the right position with this, but so far it doesn't look like it's doing a good job. And this is, this charger is great. I've had it for a long time. You've probably seen it in my reviews. So down, this is kind of where it should light up but it's not lighting up. So we don't have wireless charging capability. That's interesting. I turned on wireless power share. Let's go ahead and see if that works. Again, I don't think it will, but we always want to give it a shot. Well, because of the wallet, no wireless charging. And, and this is a pretty good one, it's a strong one. And no wireless power share. Let's take a look at colors and don't forget our links will be in the description if you use them. You actually help our channel at no cost to you. We just looked at khaki and you could see they make a matte black also. Black's kind of nice, I like the khaki too. I like greens, but links will be in the description. Next case is a Samsung original case. It's called the S-View case. It actually has a slot for a wallet, not a big wallet, but let's take a look at this. So this is a $47.99 case as of February, 2024. The material is polyurethane. The color shown today is purple and it does come in two more colors. Warranty, well, I chatted with an expert and they told me that Samsung doesn't offer uh, warranties on cases. So be aware that you might only have your Amazon return window. Um, this has, uh, is not military grade. Um, it doesn't have a rugged statement, but you do get protection on the front and the back, which helps. Uh, special features, S-View notifications, um, front and back protection, and a small wallet. Now let's take a look for a minute. I'll bring up a slide on S-View, just so you'll know what that's like. You can answer and reject calls. You can play and control music, and you can see notifications. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. All right, here it goes. So you can see that is a lighter shade of purple in comparison to the phone. Let's take a look at the case. This case has been around for a long time. It's a nice case, honestly. As you can see, if we look at the top, Samsung branding, the side, very smooth. Bottom and top, you also get protection as well. All right, and it's a smart case. You'll see it in a minute, actually. Now, they do put some type of a fabric in here. It's really soft, by the way. And you do have a serial number down here, by the way, just so you'll know. But the corners don't really have air pockets. All right, so we'll just take a look at that there real quick. Here is your wallet. You can put maybe a $20 bill or a credit card. You're not going to put too much because then it'll push it off the screen, I would think. But uh, let's take a look at this here. Throw the phone in. Again, starting with the camera corner. One, two, three, four. Okay. There's your window. Right? So you see the date. You see the time, your battery percentage. Again, answer and reject calls. Um, so nice feature. But you could see here now that we've got the uh, speaker, no problem. Microphone, no problem. You can uh, plug your phone in to a wired charger. Got plenty of room there. Let's check the uh, S Pen out to see. Not bad comes out, goes in pretty easy, no issues whatsoever.
Let's look at the side again. You know, it's closed. It's a nice fabric top. Again, you'll see that the microphones are, you know, no issues, not being blocked. Camera coverage on this is not going to be a lot, you know. These are metal buttons, by the way. I'll show you them in a second. I'd like to just show you now. That's the right side of the phone. Again, it's a really, really nice case. It's simple. And uh, there goes your camera coverage there, as you can see. So you do get a little bit. Not too much, though. Now, most people will use this folded this way, you know, and text everyone or whatnot. If you're going to take pictures, um, it's going to block the camera. So you're going to want to probably hold this open to take your pictures. All right. But let's check the uh, power button. Not bad. Nothing wrong with it. Works perfect. Volume. All right. Works really nice. Let's take a look at the edges now that it's open, if you do drop it. So you do get some edges here. And again, some, you know, just a little bit raised on the bottom. Slightly on the side. You might drop it this way, so it's really really good to know you know now let's check wireless charging move it up all right that's working got a red light let's check uh, magsafe i mean again it's not compatible but if you had one would it work yeah yeah i heard it and it is charging and if i open this up you know, and uh, let me go like this. There you go. And next up, let's check the wireless power share. Turn that on. Close this. Not a problem. Of course, there's nothing in the way. There's our lightning bolt. So look at that. Works out really well. Now, is it hard to take off would be the next question. So let's hit that button there real quick and uh, peel from, eh, where am I going to peel? I'm going to peel from the bottom. I'll peel from the bottom and it comes out nice and easy, you know, and uh, there we are all set to go. Here are the colors. Purple you saw, we got green, and you've got a black. And don't forget, links will be in the description. If you use our links, you help our channel at no additional cost to you. All right, guys. Well, I sure hope this video helped you in some way. And if it did, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. I sure hope we've earned it. And if you want to follow us on social media, right up top here, you can find our social media channels right in the top. We also have a Tesla channel. We bought a Tesla about a year ago. We've got about 15,000 miles now. We're starting to do some videos. So if you want, go ahead and find us on YouTube and subscribe. That'd be great. I'll put some more technical reviews right here on the right-hand side. And if you want to subscribe to Tech Made Easy, our channel, We'd love to have you to join the family. Click the round Tech Made Easy circle right there, and you'll be able to join the family. Guys, thanks so much for your time. I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.